Hi, my name is Simone. I'm with the School Liaison Office and I'm going to be presenting uh, Teens and Redeployment. These are our objectives. How to help your teen adjust to reintegration and also how to help the soldier to deal with the teens after they come home. Uh, we're going to establish some realistic expectations about the reunion because uh, especially dealing with teens, uh, it, it might have its own difficulties. Uh, identifying helpful and reliable sources for assistance at the end of the presentation. We will identify when to seek help for your teen and yourself and your family and what kind of help is out there for you all to uh, take advantage of. And also we want to identify effective communication skills. Expectations. Uh, especially with teens, there might be a lot of emotions that you see from excitement to sadness to anger uh, and it's part of because they're going through so many changes themselves and they have to deal with what's going on uh, within themselves as well as with the change of the family life. They have to readjust to mom or dad coming home, uh, also readjust to the parent that stayed behind not being the only parent that they have to listen to and mind. Uh, so you can expect feelings of worry, fear, stress, happiness and excitement and all those can come in a short period of time. They're excited and happy and next thing you know they're upset and worried and all these emotions. They will worry that they didn't live up to the expectations that the parent uh, set for them before he left maybe. You've heard that where the parent says, well, while I'm gone, you are going to have to help mom, you're going to have to be in charge, and the teen might be worried, did I do a good enough job? Uh, can dad or mom be proud of the way I acted while they were gone? And it is really uh, one of the things that we need to remember is that everybody in the family is going to adjust. The teen, you, the soldier that returns, uh, it is a process. It's not a thing that happens today and tomorrow we're done with it. It is a process that can take a long time. And also we want to keep in mind that children mirror their parents. So the feelings that you display might be mirrored in your teen. If mom is happy, chances are that the teen or the, the child in general is also excited. Uh, so we want to kind of keep that in mind too. And uh, honor the relationship that you've developed with your teen while the soldier was gone. Uh, many families experience that they grow closer. Mom and the child uh, grow closer and then the soldier comes back. Uh, and we want to make sure that this relationship that mom and or the, the, the parent that stayed behind built with the children, uh, that the teen knows this is important to my parent. We establish that uh, relationship and just because uh, the other parent comes back, it doesn't mean that it's out the window and it doesn't count anymore. Now the next slide that I have shows you uh, children's reactions to the soldier's return, but birth to 18 years of age. Now we're not going to uh, worry about those age groups, we're only going to look at the 13 to 18 years of age because that's the age group we're going to look at. Okay, the teen might be excited. It's important that the family shares with the teen what has happened in this time. Uh, the soldier when he returns or she returns needs to accept that I'm sorry that I missed all of these milestones while I was gone. I'm sorry I missed the prom. Uh, tell me about it. How was your, uh, what other milestones they went through. Maybe a child was uh, really successful in school and uh, was recognized for that and the parent wasn't here. To open those lines of communications, it is a good thing if we talk about these things. I'm sorry I wasn't here, but tell me about it. I do care, I want to know. Uh, and that will open 
those lines of communication between the soldier and the child. The, like I said before, the child might feel guilty because it, he or she might feel, did I do things right? I got in trouble. Is mom going to tell dad that I, that I messed up, that I uh, didn't listen, that I didn't do my chores, those kind of things. Listen and don't judge the child. Listen to their feelings and what they have to say and uh, ask questions. And it, sometimes it can feel that it's hard to get a teen to open up and, and talk uh, to the parent. That's why we suggest you as the parent or the soldier as the parent, ask questions. Even if it seems hard, sit down with the child. Uh, ask those questions so that they can reconnect. Also, uh, the child might feel too old or unwilling to change plans just because the parent came back. Uh, respect their privacy, respect their friends and their social circle and social life because as a teen that's really important as we all know. <laughs> their friends and, and what they do, their activities, uh, maybe you can be part of it. Uh, make sure that you take part in those activities, the hobbies that the teenager has. Uh, maybe your teen likes to go skate, skating at the, at the park. Honor those things that the child has uh, developed on, the, on their own and share them, be part of it. The child might be rebel uh, feeling rebellious. Uh, the wrong thing to do would be to tease them. Hey, since I came back, your hair is like this and you're, what's up with your pants and uh, those kind of things. We tend to judge their fashion, their music, their taste in pretty much everything else. <laughs> so uh, be understanding, don't be judgmental and give it time. It's going to take time to reconnect uh, and to open up that communication again. Deployment, reunions, and teens. It's a process, like I said, it's not an event. Uh, we don't just get back together as a family and everything is the same way it was before. Uh, the stress level might remain high for up to seven months. That is a long time. Uh, and I think the way it, it is, is you might have good days and, and good weeks and you think, oh, everything's back to normal. And then a couple of months down the line, issues might come up again. So be prepared that it is a process that is going to take time. Now, the, the only thing that's going to stay constant for your child right now is school. So why not make school events family events? Go together with the soldier so that the soldier can be part of that important part of your child's life, especially as a teenager. School and when we can see our friends is real important. So that would be one way to get to know your child again uh, by taking by taking part of those uh, uh, kind of activities, especially right now where school has all these uh, uh, activities for the end of the school year. Now also, we think that it is a good move to tell your uh, child's teachers what's going on so that they can uh, see if there's any kind of uh, uh, behavior or, or that they can see, hey, this might be why the child is reacting that way. The school and the family can work together to help the child to make the best out of this reunion. And it's also added support. <clears throat> Tips for parents and caregivers. Talk with your children before your soldier comes back, uh, much as you did when they first left. Explain to your child what's going to happen, uh, expectations, so, and so that they can tell you what their expectations and their feelings are, so that you can talk before the soldier comes home. Tell the child's teacher about the return, uh, and use the services of the Family Support Center and ACS 
to help address issues or special challenges uh, uh, that might arise during this time. Know that children's behavior will greatly depend on how their parents uh, deal with the reunion. That is, I think, uh, uh, a very important point. Uh, and also make sure that uh, the soldier eases slowly into the family life. It's going to take some adjusting uh, and we don't want the teens to feel, oh, now mom and dad is back and now it doesn't matter what I do. Uh, so it's an adjustment that should go slow. <clears throat> Help the child understand that they have changed, but also that the soldier has changed. And the teens, in that time that your soldier was gone, I am sure all of you will agree that your teens have changed uh, in, in this time. Uh, so it's going to be, they're going to say, oh, my mom and dad, they're different. But the mom and dad are going to say, oh, my goodness, in this time that I was gone, my teen has changed. So. It is important for them to know that not only dad or mom has changed and just kind of talk to them. Remember when mom or dad left, these are the things that you were doing and now you're doing these things. So to assure them that, you know, even though we all have changed, we can still be a family and we can still come back and, and love each other and support each other and be there for each other, be a family. <clears throat> 